In talking about Adobe Illustrator Draw, I'm thrilled to have professional illustrator Brian Yap here with us. Brian, can you tell us a little bit about how you're using Draw with the iPad Pro? Sure. Illustrator Draw is this incredibly unique vector drawing app that uh, when I started working with it in the beginning, I kind of bent it to the way I work. Um, but over time, it's evolved and uh, I've created new techniques with it. It's changed the way I work in terms of illustration. So I'm going to show you a few features today. And in fact, on this one, I've actually already dropped in a sketch. So you can see that Draw actually has layers and you can go up to 10 layers. The bottom layer is an image layer that you can pull in from your camera or the Creative Cloud. You can change the opacity, move it around. Um, and here I'm using it as a sketch to sort of do a finished illustration over. Now, what's unique about Draw is that these lines are all infinitely scalable. They're vectors, which means that he can make them as small or as large as he likes. Now, you'll notice that these lines taper, and that's a great example of the integration with Apple Pencil. This is all pressure sensitive, so what happens with the stroke is based upon how much pressure Brian's putting on Apple Pencil. And the style of illustration I do has a lot to do with uh, creating artwork for screen printed posters. So a lot of times I am creating in just one color and then I'll layer other colors underneath of it. But this app alone saved me hours of scanning uh, inked drawings and putting them into Illustrator and then cleaning up all the line work. So you can see here that in Brian's underpainting, in that drawing, he has some shaded content. And he has a variety of different primitive shapes that he can use as guides or as content. But he can also use vector shape content captured in Capture CC. And so in this case, what he's done is really cool. He took a picture of some burlap and he created a vector from that. And then he's just going to double tap to stamp that vector in as its own layer. That way he doesn't have to paint over that whole area. He just takes his shape and drops that in as a vector shape. Now, just like anything he's doing in Draw, it's a vector, it's scalable. So he can drop it in and turn it, transform it any way he wants. And because it's its own layer, he can then go back and erase the areas that he doesn't want. So you can see that that burlap is sitting underneath those strokes that he added before, and he's just erasing around the edges. Once you have it the way you want, you can actually just merge the two layers by merging down from one layer to the other. But you can also use this to sort of layer color underneath. And just by long pressing on this button, you can see that the layer gets a little bigger, and you can drag it around and reorder all the different layers. I can go back over, pick a different brush, with a different color, and you can see that when I start laying in some color, it's actually underneath the drawing I was using already. It's super convenient and kind of a different way of working than a lot of painters are used to, but like very, very convenient. So you can see that Brian's done tremendous things in draw here, but should he choose, he could send this over to Illustrator on the desktop, preserving not only all of the layers, but the whole vector workflow as well. That way he can make it as small or as large as he likes, and he'll have all of that precision and flexibility. This app really has changed the way I work, and it's an incredible tool for illustrators. Well, it's really inspiring. Thank you again, Brian. Amazing work. Clearly deeply integrated with the iPad Pro and Apple Pencil, but this free app also runs really well on smaller versions of the iPad and even the iPhone. So whichever device you're using, I hope that you pull down Draw and give it a try.